Halleluja. Halleluja. It's very simple when things work out. This one verse, this one Bible verse, and even if whole of Korea is a warehouse, we cannot really put all the contents of this one verse into it. You can't understand, right? What's in front? If you believe what's in front, to your life. In this whole world, the writings of the most uh, famous person, the content of words of uh, those with demon inside, who's, how, many, how many containers will it fit into? Those with demon inside, people who have demon inside, if philosophers or those who are um, gurus, they, they wrote down the words of demons. And in Korean, it might be different scenarios. So it's of no use. The, the writers who are, have demon inside, their whole life, they re realized something and wrote a book. The, there aren't any, even there aren't that, that many people that wrote enough that they could fill containers. And even if they did write that, would it work for them? It doesn't. Whether it's Eastern or Western writings, combined it all, even if it's 100 containers, their life, they can't resolve the issue of their life. Which philosopher, which, religion, which philosophy or religion solves your problems? Then you should go there. If you can solve your problems, uh, your life problems with that, you would go there instead of coming here. But today, this one verse, it may seem simple. You and your fa household, your household, your family, your children, all those problems, he will resolve it for us, all the problems that we have. In this very short verse, your life, for sure, and it's your household, household your, the problems of all of your household members, he will resolve it for us. This, we received a key here today. This is incredible words, God, to you and me. Even somebody like me who's so ignorant in Korea. We had uh, required education, so I just really went to, I only got that level. More than, more than that, I have nothing to boast about. Of course, somebody like me, I did not have any additional education, but you and I, Jesus, he himself, he came on this land, and he had ignorant and not educated people as his disciples. What's it saying? So does it work for only those who are uneducated and not for the educated, if that's the case? No, but God used Apostle Paul, who was very well educated. So in a word, from the lowest octave to the highest octave, which is infinite, for everybody will work and everybody in between. So here today, it's saying, on a personal level, our personal problems on this earth, from the beginning, when we receive the mystery of this gospel, going the path where we're not lacking anything, having a good health, praising him, living life with joy. It will not work just for you, but is it for your family, your children? Don't worry, for your whole household, it will work. We're here to receive this blessing today. This is incredible. This is incredible promise. How precious, what a precious promise this is. Here today, to you and me, we can be uneducated or educated. No matter what circumstances, situation we're in, it will all work for us, for all of us. Uh, our personal problems, our household problems, everybody, it'll be resolved. If we don't follow according to these words, it's not religious freedom, but rather, they'll be put to shame, and they'll really put a bad name to their country. Today, let's only go the path of blessings and only receive blessings. Us, me and my household, my descendants, we want to be made alive today. Do you say amen? This is the promise that God gives us today. You want to do well for yourself, right? You want to be contributors to your country, right? And you want to live as a proper human being and for the to help contribute to the world. But look at the autobiography and what the content is and of, that people have written. Just like Perishing Bees, the words of Perishing Bees, that's what they wrote in the, all these famous autobiographies. In Einstein, the relativity theory of Einstein, you say, is so famous, and, but those with demon inside, it's, it's, all rel uh, it's all about relativeness and relativity. But God, he is on his own. Everything, Exodus 3, 14, what is nature? Have, that's why. He, well, God wants us to hear his voice in nature. Such a precious promise. Uh, God, he's so, so precious. You and I. In our life, if we live properly to our descendants, my parents, they, the way for them to live respectfully, with respect, 
How is it? We don't. The world does not have a path to resolve our own problems, and there's no books to spell it out. Even if you look at books of philosophy and you go to the author and say, you can ask them, are you happy and are things happening according to your wishes? And the answer is no, it's not working out for them either, even though they're world famous writers and philosophers. But here, they made it very simple. God, let's read it one more time. This meaning here, the word, the meaning of these words, of this Bible verse, it's all about the way we live and about life, economic situations for people to have life, for us to be revived. Economic issues and spiritual issues. People talk about psychological issues. World, from a worldly standpoint, it doesn't work. People, people look for answers, but it's the image of people trying to help uh, us do better, but the worldly sayings, that is, but the way for us having a calamity all of a sudden, the way for us, all the issues of life, not to have calamities, we all want that. That's curses and calamities. None of us want that. But God says, based on the price of sins, it will go down. The calamity will. Proverbs 13, 21, he's pointing that out to us. But the world, when we don't know when calamities will befall us. That's why they buy talisman and charms and put it everywhere. But there's those who buy that. They all face calamities. But if the talisman is so strong, even if I go to the restaurant, I just take out the talismans and, and charms. Where there's the strongest demons, I go there. I step on the head of it, and I, right, that's what I did. What's it saying? Not so much that I'm so great, no. But not that you're so great, but even though you're really famous, a, a wealthy person can say, if they adopt you as your child, you can use money abundantly. But by the same token, God, but with this mystery, God, he will, with this mystery, this mystery, he makes us his adopted son. God does. We're here to receive that blessings and change our faith that it'll be, happen according to our wishes. Do you say amen? Receiving this blessing, that's living a life of faith. That's receiving faith. So why is it people don't want to hear this? Because we have demon inside that doesn't want to hear it. The demon of our head knowledge doesn't want to hear it. The demons that's attached to our fleshly ways doesn't want to hear it. That's why John 8.47 where there's no Christ, there's no mystery of Christ. They go to that fake place, the fake church. That's how we have, you have lived up until now. But today, the way for us to remain alive, he gave it to us. Let's read with one voice. And he said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Amen. Amen. You, that it will work for you and your household as well, that you'll receive... Is your uh, fam are your parents not living a life of life of faith? Don't worry. Your children not living a life of faith. Do not worry. Your ch grandchildren, how are they? Are they are they really going the path of being a beast? Don't worry. Salvation, not just you. But if you believe, but if you just believe, believe in the Lord Jesus. If we just believe in the Lord Jesus, if you do, your spirit, the salvation of your spirit, doing well, He will take responsibility. I have faith that for everybody, He will make it so that we can all go to. To, he to heaven. Don't worry about your life or your children. Do you say amen? If you So your life, don't worry about your life. Your spirit, when it does well, Third John verse 2, then everything else does goes well. Your health is gets better as well. When your spirit is well, Third John verse 2, chapter 1 verse 2, when your spirit does well. You, when does, is your spirit well? You have to go to heaven. When do you go to heaven? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord Jesus, up until now, those who are sitting here, the biggest worries may be the um, very noble parents of Korea, Korean parents, very interesting. It's okay if I go to hell. They, they have this kind of process, I, I want my children. Oh, pastor, I didn't say it, but I should mention, but that child, he has bodyguards, my child. He, and he, his meals are free by the government. He's quite successful, even, and every time he comes out, he has a spe he he's, he, sh uh, he he has a special ring wrist ring wrist, and and they take him, and he's very successful. He's escorted with police es escorts. So I'm shameful. I can't say anything. Even parents like there are many parents like that. Very many parents. They say it's okay for me to go to hell. But what did God say? If you believe in the Lord Jesus then you and your household, your children, will all do well. He will make it so that we'll all do well. Do not worry. That that's what God promised us. 
That's how he, what he promised us. So, your life, even though you look at all the books of the world, is there, nothing's going well for you. Just, even those who write those books, and they're so arrogant, about 20 years ago, and soon after I became a pastor, I, I got into ministry, they say, they, they say something in Japan, that how to become wealthy. No, you have to, you have to love God for you to receive wealth. If you, you have to rule over the things of the world, then God will, Genesis 1, uh, 26, only through four separate repentance you can rule over things of the world. If you, First Peter 1, 18, it all goes down to your descendants. Your children will do well when you have a mindset of ruling over things of the world, not loving the world. Do not worry. Do you say amen? Do not be anxious. But strangely, but a person like that, God, you are not believing the Lord Jesus when things aren't working well. I believe, you may say. I'm believing. But if you're really believing, why is your children having problems? That's not the case. You're not really believing. If that's the case, surely, not what you're saying, but what I... For me, a few years ago, I thought I was believing in the Lord Jesus, but my children, they were not listening. They were not filial children. So I prayed. You said, the Lord said, just believe in the Lord Jesus. When did I say for you to worry about your children? But you're worrying about your children. Job, he worried, and he, and he ended up killing all his ten children. Job 3, 24 on. He had worries and anxieties over his children, but they all ended up dying. Job, he gave worship service so well. He was a righteous man of the East. He was so wealthy. He had 10 children. But he had worries that the Lord did, told him not to have. And he had worries. And then he ended up losing all his children. He lost all his wealth as well. Also, if that's an amen, then what you, are you and I doing? You're, worried, you're having, being anxious and having worries and anxieties. So that's why you're causing problems. Why are you worried? Why are you having, being anxious? My child. But if a pastor is a child, he should sit way in the front to be a, a, he should sit in the front of the church. Wouldn't that be so good? If you have that kind of mindset, that's worries. Why are my children not doing that? That's worries. So your children, if you believe in the Lord Jesus properly, and if there's a child that's not listening well, even though you believe well, if the tree grows straight, it becomes um, a toothpick. It's like a toothpick, but when that get its child, it, that child grows, it'll be like a telephone pole. But today, your children, if it grows without branches, it'll only be a telephone pole. But, but if you believe in the Lord Jesus, if you, you, if you just focus on that, you don't know the Lord Jesus, but if you just believe in Him, then your children, if your children goes to the right 100, 100 distance, but if you just believe in the Lord Jesus, if you, even though, of course, there isn't a tree that's going 100 feet wide, but if it went to the east 100, surely it'll, it'll come to the west 100 feet as well. Because if the branch will go big this way, it'll also go branch that way. And if it's a big branch in north, north and the east, then you know it's a big tree. God wants to make your children a great child with a broad pers perspective and experience. But you say, Lord, don't... So, it's like you want to cut them off. You cut off the branches as it goes to different places. Why do you want your children to be like that? Don't try to cut off the branches off to the side. If you just believe in the Lord Jesus, your children, they'll be saved as well. All your household will be saved. Do not worry. Do, not, do, do you say amen? So don't cut off the branches as they're going to the side. What a great promise this is. God wants us not to worry. This is where did the problem arise? We don't know the Lord Jesus. That's the prob where the problem arises. You think you know. People talk about Jesus. They let, let me ask about Jesus, not the Lord. I'll leave that to the side for now. So how do you know Jesus? How do you, what do you know about Jesus? I was going to share a sermon on that. About five years. If I shared the sermon for five years, we might just start touching on about, about Jesus, about the Lord. Even ten years, I wouldn't be able to cover everything. But you may say, what's there so much of it? I don't have anything, you may say, but how come you have so much about Jesus or Lord? That's why it doesn't work for you. All of that content, Pastor, what are you going to do? Our Father, when you go to catch fish, or when you go fishing, do you go inside the water and catch it by its whiskers, or do you put? You just have to pull the, pull the, the pull the, uh, the fish, uh, the, um, 
the bait. Uh, you just have to pull uh, this, the, the rod. So then the whole fish comes. So who is Jesus? He has fulfilled it all. It will work for you, for your descendants, for everybody it will work. For everybody it will work. This is Jesus. For every, uh, Jesus is the one. Through him, all things are possible. That's John uh, 19.30. Because God, he is almighty. Whoever it is, he will make it work, right for them. It will make it work out for them, for whoever it is. He has made it so that it will be so easily working out for them. What, what will work? Everything will work. If, perhaps if it's 90, only 99.9%, .9%, if there's one thing that doesn't work, you may have a headache because of that. No, but God makes it so that everything will work out. So he says, starting from who must we believe? The Lord Jesus, he says, to believe in the Lord Jesus. So you and I today, the, the, the fact that we were not filial to our parents or my children, they're not, not being filial because they, we, they, I'm reaping what I sow. The ch parents say, we have Galatians 6, 7, we, have, we are reaping what we sowed. But the Lord, uh, God says, if we just believe in the Lord Jesus, everything will work out. How? From, as a, in a bad way? No, but in a good way, as a good person, our children. Even though you have money, you'll don't be a good person. Even though you become famous, you'll become even a better person as time passes, that you'll be even better. But today, even including those who are presidents of the country, I'm, I don't know, but I'm sure there are many noble ones, but, but comparatively, even if it's five who are noble, no, that's, if it, if one is dirty, then you're still dirty. That's why God says, he will perfect us. He will, First Peter 5.10, he will perfect us. What, he will do that when we are where? When we're in the Lord, when we're doing four-step repentance, when we're in the mystery of Christ, First Peter 5.10, that's God's promise to us. So therefore, each of you, I'm ignorant, I'm uneducated, I'm too old, you may say, I'm poor, I'm rich, I have sickness or disease, I was a harlot, I was a thief, doesn't matter, for everybody it will work, regardless of what your past is and what you have done. God will make it so that everything will work out. That's his promise to us. Do you say amen? Do not be discouraged. He will make it all work for all of us. So, you're worried uselessly about your children. Why is it that it doesn't work? Why is it that the parents are making it so that it won't work for their children? The parents are causing that by having worries and anxieties. So God's will is for us to be thankful in all things. Pastor, my child is in jail, you may say. Yeah, that's why you're thankful. So if they went to, who's the one? If your child's in jail, who's gonna, who's in the Lord, the child? God will make them a blessed person. God will fulfill it all. And he will make all things work towards well. That he, they will be even a better person. Do not worry. Do not worry. Do say amen. So that's Joseph. He went to, he was in jail in three years. He was a prime minister. Just because, which Bible says that just because you go to jail, you always work out, it'll, you turn out bad. Just no matter what situation you're in, believe in the Lord Jesus, then it'll, you'll find resolution to all your problems. Let's read that one more time. Acts 16.31. Let's read that one more time. It's very simple. But my whole, it's, uh, our whole life is in here. My family, our household, it's all included in here. It's so simple. So people say when it's cheaper, it's not good. But that's not the case. If, even if it's free, it could be something great. But there are things, even if you pay money for it, you really can't eat it. So God's word so precious. How much he loves us. Your problems, it's not resolved, being resolved today. Your children's problems not being resolved today. He will make it all right for us. He will resolve it all for us. If we just do what? It says we have to just do what? So the key is so good. It says, give it to me in the Lord. Give in the Lord. It sounds like, give it to me, that's why. There's many villages called Ju, Chanju, Lord Ju means also Lord, Sangju, Gongju. Uh, just, there's a lot of the word Lord, uh, Ju, which also means Lord, because if, if we have the Lord, we'll all receive blessings. There's a lot of towns and villas, villages called with the word Ju, which also means Lord, Ju. There's, we also have a lot of words chaya before when we say chaya before they said 99.9 uh, .9 people of uh, people will turn around because that that was kind of the confucius uh, part of the name of Conf uh, the confucius way why do we say things like this 
a lot of there's a lot of books on Confucianism and Taoism, a lot of religions and studies, but they they tried all things because things didn't work out. But God says, no, do not worry. Your life, you want to correct it? Believe in the Lord Jesus. Your household, just believe in the Lord Jesus. Your descendants, just believe in the Lord Jesus. For everything else will work out well. Then everything will work, will work out when you just do that. You say Amen. You say Amen. Everything else will everything will work out. So the Lord Jesus, who is He? That why can He promise this? The Lord Jesus, it's simple, direct. What's it saying? Who is the Lord? Matthew sixteen sixteen. Let's look that up. It, it, even though it's very uh, short. Poor step repentance. Christ is the Lord. Is the Lord. Matthew sixteen sixteen. It's not Jesus first. It's Lord. It says Lord Jesus. So how is the Lord first? Through God's mystery. Repentance is first. So that's why it's the Lord Jesus. It says, Lord. It didn't say Jesus Lord. If that's the case, it becomes something else. So now, who is the Lord? Matthew sixteen sixteen. Let's read with one voice. Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. The Korean version says, Lord, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord. Who is the Lord? The Lord is Christ. Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. God's mystery. The Lord is God's mystery. God's mystery, four step repentance. If you do that, then you become whose child? You become God's child. You become a child of God. So who is the Lord? God's mystery for self repentance through Christ when we do that. Whoever it is, you and I, we become a child of God. This is the Lord. So isn't that, do you not want in your heart to believe in the Lord? You become God's child. Why do we not want to change our faith in a positive way? So who is Christ? No matter what sin it is, Christ forgives all of our sins. So what you have sinned, if you're not able to repent because of that sin, that demons attaches itself and you fall, you, you hellward bound, your children fall into ruins to the third and fourth generation, you become enemy of God, Proverbs 14.34. But today, to believe in the Lord Jesus, when you believe in the Lord, the Lord is Christ. It's God's mystery. It's forced step repentance. So no matter what sin you have committed, uh, committed, you'll receive forgiveness of it. Psalms 103 verse 3, when you receive forgiveness of your sins, you'll have healing of all your disease. When you receive forgiveness of sins, you become made righteous person. When you're a righteous person, Matthew 25, 37, you become a lamb. When you become a lamb, Proverbs 10, 24, it'll be done according to all of your wishes. That's Psalms 23. If you just become a lamb, you receive all the blessings of being a sheep or a lamb. You'll not be lacking in anything. Receive that blessing. This is, this is the Lord. Do you say Amen? That's why God says to each of you, Ephesians chapter six, verse one, two, three. He's telling us there, your children, your parents. Um, do you know how they can serve? No, not books of religion. Don't listen to words of demons. But in the Lord, uh, serve your parents in the Lord. Only uh, serve your parents in the Lord. Your children. How, how much you teach them? And teach them in the Lord and instruct them in the Lord so for them to do good. God has made it so easy. What's that saying? Become a child of God first and then you can serve your parents and you can instruct your children. When you do that, then they'll be world famous. They'll be world class. It's Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, 2, 3. Then he'll set them high and us high above all the nations. Let's, this is how we should instruct and teach them. This is how we should live. Let's try that. Do you say amen? God, child, becoming a son of God, a child of God. How? Through God's mystery. What is that? That is the Lord. So how, do, how does he become Lord to us? You and I. He, he's the one that formed us. The Lord did. Psalms 104, verse 24. Let's look that up. Each of you. He's the one who formed us and made us. The Lord did. So believe only in the Lord. He formed us. He's the one who helps us. He's the one that does everything like help us. And bless us. And he didn't say, who, who is he? He is Christ. The Lord is Christ. It's, it's God's mystery, forced that repentance. God's mystery, forced that repentance. When we have the Lord indwell in us, when we become his child, we receive all the blessings of his inheritance. Uh, that's Galatians 3.29. He will give it all to us as an inheritance. So when you receive the inheritance of somebody wealthy, you may say, oh, that's great. But you receive it all from Almighty God. Do you want to receive these blessings? So, this is how he wants us to live. What's, so what's there harmful about that? There's none. So truly, when we become, want to be a proper human being, we have to go to the Lord. 
so that us, we can help save ourselves and our descendants. They're the ones, even they, we have to have realization. We have to live in the Lord, only the Lord, only the Lord. Each of you. If you know the Lord properly, about 15 years ago, before then I didn't know the Lord, and I was praising, and I saw, uh, I saw a lot of people uh, crying, were shedding tears, but I didn't know the Lord. If you don't know the Lord, you know what happens, you know what it is when you don't know the Lord? Psalms 104 verse 24, He formed us with wisdom. He, not knowing the Lord is not knowing ourselves and He who formed us. Let's read. O oh Lord, how many are your works in wisdom? You have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. Amen. Each of you and I, we attend church, but we don't know who formed us. We don't know that the Lord is the one who formed us. We don't know this. So the God says, those who don't know the Lord, that's all heretic. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Let's look that up. So who is the Lord? That's God's mystery for the forced that repentance. It's God's mystery, not knowing that. That's, uh, that's all heretic. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. And yet, people call that a church and they go around. How can they be saved when they're believing in heretic? Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But, but there are false prophets. There are false teachers amongst you. Excuse me, Peter. Amen. Now, who did we deny? That, that they're heretic? When we deny the Lord, then that's heretic. Who is the Lord? For step repentance, Christ. It's God's mystery. He re are we are we the one that heretic that does force that repentance Christ or those who don't so if you deny the Lord then that's heretic and yet they don't even do force that repentance and they say they're going to heaven is that right or not is that right? the Lord he's the one he does what he formed us you and I he formed us what the Lord he does what Hebrews uh, 13 6 he's the one who helps us so in a word what's it saying so believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who formed us. He's almighty. So, when you do first step repentance, no matter what sin it is, he forgives us of that sin. And he makes the demons depart from us. And he makes us he have healing from disease. He makes us a happy and content person. And he will help us. He will help us. This, so we have to know the Lord. And we have to believe in him. We have to believe him. Do you say Amen. So, why is it things aren't working out for you, you may say? Why is it things aren't working out for me or for my descendants, you may ask? So, why is it that you, you, you must live with all these worries and anxieties? Things aren't working out for you, so you're bound to be worried about your, your children. So, the Lord, who is He? He's the one who formed us. He's the one who formed my children. He's the one. He's the one who will help us. Hebrews 13.6. We didn't have time, we didn't read it, but you say we attend church. Even the, only, even, only the Lord helps us. Who is the Lord? God's mystery, four-step repentance. So, as much as we do four step repentance, you'll receive his help. You'll receive the help from the Lord. Do you say Amen? So, this is what God has said. So, here today, so we just have to meet the Lord. To meet the Lord, Psalms 32, verse 5 and 6, the, the sins of our ancestors and our own sins, we have to repent that. So, if that's the case, so without even repenting the sins of our ancestors, and yet c can we call that a church? You're not even able to meet the, the Lord, and if you deny the Lord, what is that? That's heretic. When we don't repent the sins of our ancestors, that's heretic. That's God's word. This is not something we made. The sins of our ancestors and our own sins, when we don't repent that, that's her heretic. So, we're denying the Lord who's helping us if we do that. So, we're denying the Lord who formed us and made us. So, if that's the case, up until now, so the Lord, we say that we, we believe in the Lord, but we have to know to believe in the Lord. What is that? It's a mystery of Christ. We just have to force the repentance, in other words. So what I ask of you, after I share the sermon, it may be too late, so don't say anything, but rather, so keep the grudge that you have against others, not being able to forgive others, that's all your sins. And what sins coming out of your heart, not wanting to retain the knowledge of God, the sins coming out of your flesh, it, all that's pointing out, he's pointing out to us, read that one by one. No, I don't have those kind of sins, you may say. You know, try, try it. I share the testimony as well. I didn't, all the sins coming out of heart, it had nothing to do with me in the beginning. I believed in Jesus for so long. 
in the beginning, I thought it didn't apply to me at, at all. But later on, I realized all those sins, each one of us, I had so much tears shedding, coming out, pouring out from that. But I'm the one, I didn't know that. Each of you, right now, you say you repent. Why? Three times a day, God says to repent. If you're not doing that, you, you'll have demons attach itself to you. First John chapter 3, verse 8, where there's sin, the demons attach itself to you. You may look normal, but when the demons attach itself, then what happens? You, then you crawl the path of death. So each of you, you're here listening. The Lord, he will help us. When you, as much as you do force the repentance, he'll help us. So the demons that has been attaching itself, when the Lord comes, it will all depart. It'll, it'll, all your problems will be resolved. You say, Amen. This is an incredible promise. So therefore, God says, each of you, you're... The, you've been born by the Lord. You've been formed by the Lord. The, only the Lord will help you all your life. Be with the Lord, and on your day of judgment, you, you'll come to be judged by the Lord. That's Romans 11.36. The Lord, Christ, for step repentance, is the mystery of Christ. Do you say amen? The Lord is. So if you deny Christ, you're, that's heretic. If you deny the Lord, that's heretic. Do you say amen? So without doing forced step repentance, that's, that's heretic. They're like that. How pitiful is it? They're not realizing. So, so each of you should pray for them. They pray that they will do well, those who don't realize Christ. It's God's command for us to do so. So, so what is Jesus then? Who is Jesus? The Lord. For everything at work. If Lord is everything, why do we need anybody else? The Lord, it doesn't help with us going to the Lord. The sins of our ancestors that we have not heard. When we repent the sins of our ancestors, and yet we've been freed from that. But the sickness and disease and cancer, it's, it departed. But soon, right immediately, the sins of our ancestors comes out to, comes down upon us again. That's causing uh, my ancestors, if they live to 80, if I'm 50, this, for the next 30 years, what the sins of our ancestors will come upon us, your ancestors. It's not that the, the, parent, the ancestors were alive and continued to sin from 50 to 80. Those sins will come down upon us continuously because of the sins of our ancestors and continues to come forth. So we can't but confu uh, help confess. We can't avoid confessing our sins. If we want to confess our sins, there has to be one who resolves all of our sins. The Lord, he'll help us. The Lord is Christ, so it will work. But, but connecting with God, we have to be connected, hold hands with God. So with God, Having a, only Jesus has reconciliations with God. That's Colossians 1.20. Only so Christ, you, our heart makes us our heart be single-hearted. When you do force of repentance, He makes us single heart in a single way. But Jesus holds hands with God and enables us to receive all the inheritance that God gives to us, and He makes reconciles us with with God. God. So there's one Christ, Jesus Christ. There's the. 1 Timothy 2.5, there's the palm of the hand and the back of the hand analogy. Jesus is the back of the hand. He's connected with God. The palm of the hand is Christ. When we do force our repentance, he forgives us. It's still the hand, but after we receive forgives us, he helps us and reconciles us with God. Without Jesus, we cannot be reconciled with God. Jesus, that Jesus, he's the one who fulfilled it all. How? Uh, fulfilled it all as going to heaven and going to and receiving the blessings and changing our faith he fulfilled it all and healing of disease and our children become filial, filial children he has fulfilled it all this is Jesus who did this do you say amen John 1930 let's see if he has fulfilled it all or not he has accomplished it all or not that's why the help of the Lord through forced our repentance let's go that path and relationship with Jesus who has fulfilled it all. We have to continue to have that relationship. So each of you, when you have a problem, you have to fulfill it all. You have to resolve it all. That's why. That you only believe in the Lord Jesus. Then don't worry about your children, your life. How are you going to live? And your sickness, what's going to happen with that? Are you going to go to heaven or hell? What are you going to do with your poverty? No, don't worry about this. So that's why Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not worry. Do not... In, in nothing should you worry. In, not in anything should you worry. It's talking about the meaning here of the Lord Jesus. It's talking about prayer and supplication through thanksgiving, give worship. It's only there. It says that's Lord Jesus. Oh, you can't understand it. You may say that's why you have a long way to go. That's why. You have to go and eat that which it works. You're not able to make it. So when you give a sunflower, uh, when you give a pumpkin, some people make 
some, when you give a pumpkin, some people eat, uh, make it porridge out of it, others make it good for a woman's health. And then you think, you say, oh, did I have that child and have a seaweed soup? No, it was for you. When you have sea seaweed soup, it cleans out, filters out the blood because there's a lot of uh, nutrients. You, you ate it for your good health. Why do you uh, make re excuses for your children? Repent. When God gave you children, God, God said it's a blessings of blessings, that your children are blessings. Yes. If you just believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the children are a blessing. Do you say amen? Just don't go back to your children. Don't just go back and have children. When you do four-step repentance, you have, they, people have a lot of children because they're blessings of blessings. Psalms 127, verse 3, it's recorded there. So each of you, your, are your children a blessing or are they a thorn? If there's a, a tree with a lot of branch, it's not a lot of branches. It's like having a lot of branches. They're all blessings if you just believe in the Lord Jesus. Each of you, up until now, you're, because of your life, because of your children. No more worries, though. Let's end that. If you just believe in the Lord Jesus, you say Amen. The Lord, when you do, you just have to do four step repentance. When you do four step repentance, you meet the Lord and receive His help, and everything will work out. You say Amen. So, when time passes, if you deny the Lord, that's heretic. When you don't do four step repentance, that's heretic. Then He will not deal with us at all. He will not. He, we're heretic, and yet Jesus, He has fulfilled it all. He has accomplished it all for who? For you and me. That's why John one twenty nine. So you and I, all, he bore all of our sins. God's uh, lamb. So each of you, it will, it, it will work because he has fulfilled it all. That's why it will work for us. You say amen. John 19.30, let's read that he has fulfilled it all. Therefore, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is finished. He has fulfilled it all. It is finished. Just, he has fulfilled it all. It is finished. He has done it all. Do you have a headache? Because of who? Because of your children? Because of your oldest child, second child, or third child? No. That's why I only had one child. You might say, after you have one child, I hear the news. Now you're worried that they might die. Don't worry. If you just believe in the Lord Jesus, then you, he who helped us and formed us, when you repent, he forgives us and casts out demons, gives us wealth as a blessing. There's the love of God, and it'll happen according to our wishes and blesses us to a thousand generations. He'll make it all good to the Lord. He wants to help us that way. But you, your ancestors, it's before you and blocking that. Your ancestors blocking the sins and blocking your blessings. It's not even your sin. It comes down to you as an inheritance from your sins of your ancestors. There's no way for you to resolve that issue. That's why before, before the cross, he has fulfilled it all. That's why. The, just believe in the Lord Jesus. He will help us. He will fulfill it all for us. He will make it all work out for us. Everything will work out for us. Everything will work out for you, for each of you. Do not worry about your children, please. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about your sickness and disease. He has finished. He has fulfilled it all. He has finished. M your mother has done all, the, made all the food. You just have to eat it. Uh, what's, what's better than that? He will help us. He's the one who kills and makes alive. He's the one that casts out demons and heals disease. He gives us happiness in our, in our heart and makes our relationship with our spouse good and makes children, filial children, even though they're far away. Do not worry. He's going to be a big tree. He's, oh, the branches are... Oh, he's going to be a big child, a, a great child. Do not worry. Do not be worried about that. You say, Amen. They'll do even better. Oh, Pastor, my wife, what am I going to do with him? Oh, he's going to be a great person. Uh, he's going to be a big character, major character as well. How, how dirty and bad is your, wife, uh, is your husband? Do not worry. Just believe in the Lord Jesus. He will help us and fulfill it all. He'll make everything work out well. Your children, your family, or he will make it all work out. You say amen. He'll make it all good. So do not worry. Do not be anxious. Each of you, between your spouse, oh, uh, I should divorce. I, can't, I couldn't... Um, I can't live with a person like that. You may say, but believe in the Lord Jesus. You couldn't live with your child. Believe in your Lord and believe in the Lord Jesus. So that child, I was looking forward to even one child out of nine to do well, but not even one uh, really a filial child. Even though the young ones, 
None of them are good. Just when they're so young. Do not worry, even if they're really young and not good. God, he will make them lambs and sheep. He'll make them filial children. Then he'll make them even better. He'll make things better for you. Let's all receive these blessings and take it with you. Do you say amen? Let's repeat after me. Surely it will work. Repeat after me that you'll do even better. And it'll do even better. Let's live life with confidence. And one more time. Acts 16.31. Let's read that one more time. So if that's the case, even though the Bible is short, it determines whether the whole world is alive or dead, receives salvation or not. Your household will do well or not. If you combine all the books and all the religions of the world, it's not as concise and strong as and that just believe in the Lord Jesus. Let's repeat after me. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. There's not even a, a uh, apostrophe or comment. Because if we add a word, it becomes... It changes the word. There's no added consonants. The Lord, he has fulfilled it all. He finished it. For who? For me, for my family, for my descendants, for my children. He's the one. He has fulfilled it all so that it will all work out well for us. The Lord, he formed us. Who is he? He's the one who helps us and forms us. He's with us and helps us and forms us. I believe only in him. He's so good. So is he qualified or not? Is there age or not? Is there a qualification requirements or not? No. Even though you are you know, see now, whoever it is, it will work. Whoever it is, it will work. Acts 16.31. Let's read. Yeah. They said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Amen. When you receive salvation, your spirit will do well. When your spirit does well, everything else will go well in your life. You'll have good health. Your children to 10,000 generations will do well. To 100 million generations will do well. You'll be, contribut you'll be contributors to your society. Let's live life receiving this blessing. Do you say amen? Do you say amen? So therefore, God's mystery is so great. It's so good. How good it is. So therefore, when you go along with the Lord, the path, it's so joyful. We don't have time though. As it is, we'll go the path when you do God's mystery, force our repentance. If you, uh, if you don't do it, even though you say, Lord, it doesn't come. But when you do force our repentance, the Lord, he will be with you. So, so you'll be, he'll carry you. You'll be carried. Psalms 23 verse 1. In the green pastures, he will, he will lay us to green pastures. He'll lead us to quiet waters. So therefore, each, you'll be carried by him and hugged by him, embraced him. So there's no need for, your, your, your foot won't hurt. Let's receive help from the Lord and let's all do well. Let's all do well. Let's our descendants do well. Do you say amen? Do you say amen? Now, what did you look up? We have read it all. Let's greet the person next to us. Let's say it confidently. Even though what we what Satan did to you just now, it's of no use now. We've changed our faith for everything that will work. You receive help from the Lord, your life, your family. And all, for everybody, your spirit will do well, so you can go to heaven. Then you'll do well. So don't be discouraged. Let's greet the person next to us. You'll do, let's you'll do even better. You'll do even you'll be even more blessed. You'll do even better. You'll be even more blessed. You'll surely things will get better for you. Do not surely do not be discouraged. What a great promise this is regarding you. If you listen, ask any religion. They say, do this or do that to change your faith. But it doesn't work even, uh, the worldly religions. But uh, God says, just believe in the Lord, Lord Jesus. That's the, all of it. Is it a headache? No, he will carry us. He will take us, he will carry us to green pastures and quiet waters. He'll make your children be filial children between your spouse. But even though your husband was so so bad, he will make them so good. He will fulfill it all. He has made it. He has prepared everything we want to have and eat. He has prepared it all for us. Let's receive these blessings and do well. Let, say amen if you want to receive these blessings. Oh Lord, thank you. From today on, you'll do well. You'll, it'll work out for you when you do four step repentance. Let's try it. Let's make a praise. Let's do four step repentance. Let's do four step repentance. If we, it's so how great that would be when we have a praise like that. So, going going towards the Lord. If you haven't repented, how can you draw near to the Lord? Ephesians two thirteen. Even though 
when you repent, you'll be, he'll, will be in his embrace. Our wor- children, do not worry. Pastor, when you do that, I'm awake now, my child. Where's my child? I'm, I was wondering where they were, but I'm not worried again. No, commit over to the Lord. Psalm 68, verse 19. Daily, your worries and anxieties, he will take it all over, all of our burdens over to us. The Lord will take all of our burdens for us. Daily, daily, let's live life give, committing all of our bur- worries and burdens over to him. So do not worry. Do you say amen? Do not worry about our children. So you can boast. Pastor, we cast the net really wide. You're going to catch a lot when you put it into the ocean. If you have a big net, if you have a small net, you can't catch anything. Each of you, the fact that your children will do better. It's not that they went that path, that they'll do well, but even if they're there, when you believe in the Lord Jesus, He will make things work well and change it into our blessings. Let's all receive these blessings. Uh, the, all of your family, each family, let find contentment and receive all the blessings. What a precious promise this is. Let's greet the, the person next to you one more time. Surely you'll do well. Surely you'll do well. Surely you'll do well. Each of you, no matter. That let's go the path of blessings. You and your family, when you're saved and revived, you'll help save your neighbor and your country. When you help save your country, then you'll help save the world. Because we don't know happiness and contentment. You're suffering, and you're full of evil, but wickedness. But this blessings, if we just believe in the Lord Jesus, it will work through forced repentance. No matter what your ancestors have given you as an as a calamity and inheritance, negative and bad inheritance, we resolve. We can resolve all of this through the Lord Jesus. Through the Lord Jesus, let's live a great life. Let's surely you'll do well. Let us pray. Father of blessings. The Lord, in Christ, only in Christ, no matter what sin it is, you forgive us. In the Lord, you'll help us, and you formed us, meeting the Lord, the, the sins of our ancestors and our own sins, when we receive forgiveness of our sins, we meet the Lord. Father God, Jesus, who has finished it all, fulfilled it all, through his name, then let us restore the life that we have ruined. Let's restore that. Let my children do even better, and be receive blessings. And my husband... I have given up on him, but even so, you can do well. Let's receive the blessings and rule over the blessings that whoever it is, it will work for them. And that we can see blessings in the name of Jesus and thankfulness and blessings, I pray. Amen.